Hey, hey, hey guys, as promised, I am back with another process video. I'm still working in the same devotional, the 2020 Vision devotional from Illustrated Faith. You can pick up items a la carte on their website. I'll link it down below. Um, I'm also gonna be using some of their clear printables that I have printed on my clear sticker paper. And I'm using the Tim Holtz um, sponge stamps, the big alphas. Um, I got these off of Amazon. If you just type in like Tim Holtz cling foam stamps, um, those will pop right up for you. And they're super fun alphabet, really bold. And um, they make my title just really stand out as you guys will see. And um, it's gonna be a pretty simple process for today. I'm gonna use a little bit of a journaling card, the stamps, and then some watercolor splatters with my printables to get everything kind of coming together. I am journaling the second, um, prompt. It is talking about um, It Is Well by Bethel Music, and um, it's in Matthew 21, 22, which reads, and whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive if you have faith. So that is what my journaling was kind of coming down to. I'm going to use my typewriter to get my journaling down on the journaling card, but as usually I would start my my page with my title and I kind of knew I wanted to use these alphabets but I really wanted a simple background first and so that is why I took the illustrated faith watercolors with a really skinny brush and I just did some black ink splatters on the back of our on the page as a background so that is um, kind of just how I got a little bit of color on the page and then you can see I'm trying to kind of figure out where everything is going to live um, I like the title off to the left and then I realize if I want to use my journaling card it's going to be in the like gutter of the page in the binding and it my Bible you sometimes doesn't close as easily when that is the case so I'm going to flip-flop it so I'm gonna have my title kind of lined up on the right side of my page and I'm just kind of spacing everything out before I ink anything down and seeing if this journaling card is going to look good with the title lined up where it's at. Now this Interleaf Bible does have cream Bible pages and then my journaling card is on white cardstock so you can see it kind of looks like it doesn't really blend really well and so I know that I need to get something behind it to kind of anchor it down and make the white kind of pop off the page and so that is where I'm going to use those color splotches from the printables that come when you ordered the kit. And because my background was going to have color behind the journaling card, I decided to keep the alphabet stamps in a black ink. I'm just using the Illustrated Faith ink from, um, you can get it at Dayspring, and I love this ink. It is not water, well it is water soluble, so if it gets wet, um, it will run a little bit. So just keep that in mind when you're using it. Um, but I really like it. it. It's like the perfect blend of black. Like it's not too dark to where it bleeds through, but it definitely um, shows up. And I've had this ink pad for a really, really long time. Now again, I'm just going to try and figure out where things are going to be placed to where size-wise I can make everything work. And I do end up cutting down this journaling card quite a bit uh, just because I didn't want any blank space down at the bottom. And then I'm going to pair it with this little trust ticket um, and I really like how it ends up turning out. I first start with the pink glasses and then I realize like I need a little bit more of that yellow color so I bring in those yellow glasses they do not stay there <laughs> um, they do end up um, not making it onto my page just with when I cut down the journaling card it just didn't fit and look as I wanted it to and so um, I had to kind of make that decision but now I'm kind of pulling back the release paper so these will stick down onto my page I gave my ink splatters plenty of time to dry and then I'm going to take my journaling card and put it through my typewriter so then I have my journaling um, done and you can see I've kind of cut that and then I try and make those glasses fit and it just does not but I do staple that trust ticket to my journaling card using the Tim Holtz 
tiny attacher. I have also found this on Amazon. So when you pick up the stamps, you could also pick up the tiny attacher. I love it and I use it um, on a lot of my entries when I'm not wanting to use my tape runner and when I want to kind of get a little bit more texture um, onto the page. Um, I'm using the white, black, the white and black cross washi um, from Dayspring and Illustrated Faith just to get these kind of anchored down onto the page, add a little bit more texture, a little bit more design onto the page, and then I'm going to use my tape runner to get both the ticket and the journaling card down onto my page. Again, I was really, really trying with these like lime green glasses, but um, I just could not get them to work on the page and have everything kind of flow the way that I wanted it to. So I, um, I decided to leave them out and I go with a little bit of pink watercolor to add a little bit more color to the page. Um, I'm just using that same Illustrated Faith watercolor set available at Dayspring and then um, it just kind of makes the page kind of come together. I'm very careful to try not to get it onto my journaling card, but um, after I highlight the verse, this is gonna do it for my page today. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram, at row writes, and I will hopefully be seeing you guys very, very soon. Talk to you later, bye.